everyone. Thank you for staying here till now. Uh, my name is Fan Yang. I'm a PhD student at Purdue University. I'm glad to uh, present here on behalf of myself and my advisor, Dr. Jian Song Zhang. So um, as we know, virtual, virtual reality could help us with uh, um, serious issues in construction um, industry, such as uh, workforce shortage. Um, this is a very serious problem right now, and uh, the VR can help us saving the training resources, such as the trainer and the construction set, and even the training materials. So it's very important um, to to know like how VR uh, can be used in this situation. And uh, there is a lot of studies undergoing on this topic. Uh, we have learned, uh, we have listened some very uh, interesting presentations these days. But there is a research gap exists in comparing um, the VR training method with the traditional learning method in terms of the emotional impacts. So why we want to investigate the emotional impacts? Uh, because there is a famous learning theory in the field of education. Um, it said that the learning outcomes is related with the emotions. A higher level of excitement uh, could lead to a better learning outcomes. So by comparing the, the emotional, the emotions between these two methods, we can have some initially and uh, initial understanding of how well the VR is being used in this situation. Um, so to give you uh, uh, to give you a quick understanding of the conclusion, or uh, we found we found that the VR group have a higher uh, excitement level rather than the traditional learning group. That means uh, a, a better learning outcomes uh, push potentially. So there, this is our methodology. We firstly developed a VR learning uh, environment, includes some uh, scenarios. And uh, then we conducted a two groups uh, user study. One group is using uh, VR and another group is uh, learning based on paper uh, materials. As you can see from the picture, um, the VR groups, uh, the users will put on a VR headset to get immersed in the uh, virtual construction uh, environment. And uh, for the paper learning group, the learning content is with the uh, the learning content is corresponding to the topic in the VR environment. And both of them while putting on a, a EEG device to collect their brainwave data for the emotion, uh, emotional analysis. So here's the virtual construction lab we developed. The left figure is a real lab in Purdue University, and the right on the right side is a virtual uh, a construction lab we developed. So that's actually a virtual replica of the real lab. Uh, here is a short video to showcase uh, what the user will uh, will see on the first person perspective. So we have three scenarios. The first one is a safety protocol training. The user uh, will learn by this uh, text and the audio instructions and to learn how to put the EEG uh, appropriately. And secondly, we have a virtual crane. Uh, the user could use a virtual panel to control the crane um, op uh, op operation. So it will um, it have three degree of freedom, so the user can can get familiar with the crane operation. And the uh, last uh, scenario is the steel structure assembly. Um, the user could be able to manipulate the columns and beams to assemble a steel structure. So we used. Uh, uh, so we conducted a user study with 16 uh, participants, and uh, they were randomly uh, assigned into two groups. And we used the EEG data, uh, which collected during the training sessions, and it could be processed to give us these two important emotional uh, dimensions, which is, which is arousal and uh, valence. So arousal is about how intense or calm 
And so high arousal emotions, as the picture shows, includes excitement and fear, and low arousal emotions like calm and uh, sleepy. A valence is about how positive or negative. For example, happiness and excitement, happiness and excitement uh, has a higher valence, and the sadness and anger have a negative valence. So that is our two dimension for the emotional analysis. The re uh, the results on these two dimension, uh, dimensions were calculated based on this formula uh, by using the EEG data we collected. And as we all know, like EEG data could be very noisy, so several steps was uh, used to clean the data, such as a filter, uh, independent component analysis, and manual review uh, to get rid of the, um, the drift or the uh, uh, aircraft, like the eye blinks and uh, muscle activities. Sorry, artifacts. So the red picture um, is the final results we got. The x-axis is the valence level, and the y-axis is the arousal level. And within the figures, the orange dots are the VR-based learning group, and the blue dots are the paper-based learning um, participants. So here's the findings we found first. Um, for the valence level on the x-axis, uh, for, oh no, sorry, first uh, the orange dots, which is the VR group, obviously has a higher arousal level on the y-axis, and the blue dots have a lower, um, have a lower uh, level. And so that means that VR user feels more excited since we mentioned that that the arousal is um, the arousal is meaning about how intense or calm. And secondly, for the valence level on the x-axis, uh, there is no significant differences between two groups. It means that the positivity and the negativity level is similar. Another noteworthy finding is that um, the distribution of arousal level. Um, so you can find the orange dots is more separated in terms of the y-axis, um, but the blue uh, but the blue dots is more concentrated within a certain range. Uh, this indicating that the individuals in the VR group have um, um, had a relatively different feelings in terms of how excited um, or calm they were. But the individuals in the paper-based learning group have similar feelings of it. The last funding we want to discuss is uh, we should not always uh, pursuing for a high arousal level because we should avoid uh, shift uh, the user from this section, which is a uh, low arousal and the negative valence to uh, this section, which is high arousal and the uh, uh, and the negative valence section, because in this section, the emotions is uh, like boring, but in these uh, sections, the emotions like anger, angry. So we should uh, we should avoid to uh, shift them from the boring feelings to angry feelings uh, from using VR. So that is that is something we need to be aware of when we're using VR. We acknowledge the following limitations. First is uh, medium variability. And since the inherent differences between these two mediums, so the learning content could not fully align with, with each other. And the second one is as the focus of this work um, was not on the effect of the user's familiarity. So we didn't set the control group uh, for VR use experience. The future work uh, includes using machine learning method to process the EEG data in a larger uh, data set and uh, expand the VR training system to meet more complete uh, training needs. Um, we acknowledge the support from National Science Foundation and uh, here's my references. Thank you.